We're trying to develop a mechanism by which our students, our graduate students in speech pathology, can get some hands-on experiences with some procedures and skills that are invasive and or dangerous um, to their, their future clients. And so we really want them to be able to get those opportunities while they're here. Being able to see how the videos that we see in class and being able to have a real-time analysis of that and go through a procedure of what would you do next, what would you offer next, being able to go up and practice, getting into the position that you would need to to hold the scope, and then having to position your body to look at the screen so you could see the videos. This is actually the first time that we are having students interact with it. Our real purpose at this point is to develop a prototype or a proof of concept. We see application with this for clinical education, both within our field and other professions, for nursing, for medicine, for um, physical therapy, occupational therapy. This is the first virtual reality that I've been exposed to within this setting and I think it is a neat area to expand and be able to give you this opportunity before you have to go in and, uh, and start doing it hands-on. It's a great way to introduce the material and, and get experience with it.